We know that every experience of gambling is different. Every gambler is unique and the way they experience gambling is as unique as they are. However, we know that there are key moments in every gambling journey. The Gambling Commission has developed a framework to show the familiar set of stages that people go through when they gamble. This framework is called the Path to Play and it will provide a new way for the Commission to talk about and frame regulation within the context of how consumers experience gambling. The Path to Play is made up of six stages, passive influences, external triggers, internal impulses, active search, play experience and play outcomes. Each stage plays a specific role in the journey. External triggers and internal impulses happen concurrently and stages can loop during a session of play. The journey begins with passive influences, how we think and feel about gambling in general, which evolves gradually over time. Our past experiences of play, our social circle and our upbringing all affect our underlying perceptions and attitudes towards gambling. The overall presence and visibility of gambling advertising is effectively background noise, keeping gambling top of mind. However, it is often past winning experiences that have the strongest influence over behaviour. Passive influences have an overarching impact on our consideration of whether to and how to gamble, and the experience of play. External triggers covers the range of nudges that prompt us to gamble. This could include special offers, tips from friends, or targeted adverts that hit us at the right moment. Nudges like these feed into the top of mind consideration of gambling and deciding which brands or products to choose. External triggers don't always prompt gambling in the moment and don't always have an obvious impact, but build our awareness over gambling products and provide us with incentives to play. Internal impulses provide us with reasons to gamble, informed and nudged by external triggers. Motivations to gamble can include a mix of habits and social behaviours, our perceived knowledge, skill or luck, and a desire to win money. Individual gambling occasions can straddle multiple underlying motivations and can be informed and influenced by a range of external triggers. Once we have the motivation to gamble, we consider where and what to play during the active search. Whether it be deciding what gambling app or website to use, what gambling venue to visit, what odds to take, what games to play, or what stake to place. Most gambling journeys have short active search stages due to a preference for existing accounts with trusted companies which are easy to access and familiar. However, some journeys may involve registering with new brands or involve thinking or setting up limits to manage our gambling. The next stage covers the play experience, whether it be a single bet or a session of play where multiple bets are made or games are played. It encompasses enjoyment of the activity in the moment, the overall customer experience of interacting with the gambling brand and product and whether we are winning or losing. During the process of play, in-session marketing and offers from gambling brands can influence extended play sessions or cross-sell of other products. The play outcome, whether it results in a win or a loss, has both a short-term and cumulative long-term impact on gambling attitudes and behaviour, shaping future consideration to gamble again and the behaviour itself. Some journeys may result in us returning to the journey when we gamble again, perhaps on the same day or a while later, whilst others may lead to other outcomes such as pausing to reflect on how the session went, seeking or receiving support or treatment, or seeking redress from gambling brands. The Path to Play was developed through research speaking to over 1,000 people across Great Britain. The Path to Play aims to encompass the diversity of experiences across gambling products and customer risk levels. Once again, every gambler is unique and will experience the elements of this journey differently depending on the type of gambling and the context of play. However, applying the Commission's work to this framework will enable us to inform effective regulation and policy making supported by our understanding of the consumer experience and the key moments for gambling consumers. For more findings from our consumer voice research, head to www.gamblingcommission.gov.uk and click on the Statistics and Research Hub.